Hi everybody, this is Shaleen of the Color in Book Nook. This is an adult channel. It is not intended for children. It is not made for children. And goodbye if you are a child. Also, I have five cats and a dog. You will see cats and you will hear the dog. Can't do anything about that. That is my life. <laughs> In my house, that is what goes on here. Let me turn off the sound on my phone. Okay. I do have... When I hop in the car... Oops. Live chat. Okay. Do I have everything I need? What do you need for money tomorrow? Forty. Is that okay? How are you gonna earn that? I'm on live stream. <laughs> oh, you ain't on yet, huh? There you go. Yes, I am. It's just buffering. <coughs> I don't know if we're having problems with the internet. Oh, there it is. It could be with the weather though, too. Well, I'm on now. Well, it's still buffering. It is for me anyways. Wow. Is it buffering for anybody else? Uh, hello? Is it buffering? It's buffering for me. Oh, man. Hi, Joan. Is it buffering for you? It is like buffering really bad for me. Maybe it's just... Me. Hold on. See if I can bring it up again. It might be the weather that's on the way here. I don't know what it right now. It's okay. I don't know where everybody is. Oh, gee. Is that better? Joan? Hmm. 
Is it working now? It's not. Oh my God. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Joe Beth. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kim. Hi, Joan. Is it working now? It's trying. It stopped buffering for me. Hopefully we're good now. <laughs> Hi, May. Okay, good. I, you know, right now it's not doing anything, but we have nasty weather on the way. So if it's really cloudy, I might have issues. I don't know. It was fine earlier. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Thanks, May, for chatting with me. We haven't done that in a long time. I should have caught up with you sooner. You will be announcing the color lawn in your group on Saturday. Okay. Hi, Nick and Tina. How are you? I know I have, I have announcements. I have some changes for next weekend. <laughs> you read 55 pages in your book. I read about 35% of the book I was reading today. I was playing with the ferrets today. I let them out at noon. When I left at 4, I left at like 4.30. They were still out, but um, they were sleeping. But yeah, they were horrible today again. I should get paid for babysitting them instead of the grandson. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi Joe Beth thank you it's a hoodie my mom got this for me for Christmas a couple years ago and she ordered it in my size and for some reason they sent her a 5x and they sent two but only charged her for one this is supposed to be a 5x I should be swimming in this it should be huge on me, and it's a little tight. But the sleeves are, like, super, super long. <laughs> so, yeah, and I don't normally wear the hoodies because I'm always hot. But the past two weeks, I cannot get warm. And we've had some days that aren't cold, but this week's been in the teens, and it's been so cold and windy and my it's killing my arthritis it's just been horrible this this week especially well yeah lawn sleeves are good i know nick and tina but really a 5x i should be swimming in it it's a good thing they sent her that size and not my size because it wouldn't have fit me hi Lori. So I'm not really going to talk about what I'm reading. Um, I didn't pull anything up. I did read this week. I've read one, two, three books and another one. So I read one called The Game Changer. That was from NetGalley. I read one. Huh. I read Calcul Calculated in Death by J.D. Robb, which is book number 35, I think. I know. I am always hot, May. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been wearing hoodies and just in flannel pajamas. I never wear freaking flannel pajamas. I have them for when, like, the... The power goes out in the winter and it's really cold in the house. I've been wearing them to bed with flannel sheets. Never, ever, ever does that happen in my life. I don't know. I hope my body is not changing because I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm used to always being hot. 
Lori, I like to read anything except nonfiction, and I don't really care for westerns. So, oh no, I'm done with all of that, Tina. <laughs> I had a hysterectomy in 2009. I don't go through any of that. I don't have any, I don't get hot flashes. I'm just always hot. <laughs> yeah, you haven't felt good, Robin. I know, that's not like you to just read six. I do want to finish the one I started this weekend, so I'm thinking while I'm diamond painting, I might put it on text-to-speech. But, yeah, so what was it, the game changer? What was the other one I just read? Because I told Dylan to read it because he, he's hooked up to my Amazon account. And I can't, I don't think that was the game changer. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't read much. So tonight's tea, I have, it's Twinings, which I don't usually buy their tea. And it's Ultra Spice Chai. And it says black tea, natural chai, cinnamon, and ginger with natural flavors, cardamom, and clove. And it is very good. I like it. And using this mug that I got several years ago from Starbucks. Hi, Jody. You have trouble, trouble, bleh, I have trouble speaking. You have trouble concentrating on books, but love audiobooks. I like my audiobooks, especially when they have really good narrators. Okay, so whips. Let me show you one. I did not pull it out. Move, Daenerys. So I started this diamond painting, and I know you probably can't figure, can't see what it is, but it's a cat's eye. It's a cat, and I have this much done. I'm working on this this whole weekend. So that is what I am working on this weekend, and it's called Majestic Cat. Is it? Yeah. I think it's called Majestic Cat. And this one's by Mystical Diamond Art. It's a Mystical Diamond Art Company. Hi, Cindy. So that is what I'm doing this weekend. This weekend is Diamond Painting Weekend. Hi, Laverne. Hi, Robin. <laughs> I, I know I talked to you, Robin. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. So for my whips, I'm working still on this page and I want to take, I think what I'm going to do is when I finish one square area on my diamond painting, then I'm going to work on this for like an hour, but I don't have much left in it. So I should be able to finish it in an hour at least because I want to use pan pastels in the background, but I'm using Derwent Artist pencils on her. And her skin is done in pan pastels. So I'm learning how to use the pan pastels. I need to work on it a little bit more. Hi, Crystal. And then on this channel, sorry, I did not do live streams this week. It was, I started babysitting. And I thought I was going to be home late every night, and I ended up not being home late, but I decided to just take a break. But I am working on this because this is one of the five books. These two books are two of the five that I'm Salem the Cat. That's what it's called. Thank you, May. Yep, Salem the Cat. That's the name of the diamond painting. It didn't say on the canvas. But yeah, Salem the Cat. So this is another book I'm working on this year. And I started this on stream and using, what are we using? Prismacolors. So I want to work on that this week. And 
This month, I really, really need to finish this picture in Geomorphia. And working on that page. And this is with Catherine. It's a buddy color with Catherine and her mom. And I'm using Fila's. Her mom finished hers. But, yep. And also this month, I need to finish the picture in Phantomorphia that I'm doing as a buddy color with Laura of Anxiety Art Adventures. And we're working on this page. And I did not write down what pencils I was using. So I'm thinking my Prismas. But I usually write down what I'm using. So those are my whips. I know, no rush. I just want to get it done because then I got a um, buddy color that I'm supposed to be doing with Kim. And I don't want to start that until I finish those. <laughs> So there is a few things going on. So next weekend, I will not, I will be live streaming, but it, I won't be doing tea time. I have been asked to do a diamond painting a thon, and it's all weekend. So I am not streaming. my tea time i may do a video thursday night for tea time and then post it up for friday but i'm not live streaming my tea time friday i will not be live streaming saturday night diamond painting because of the diamond painting a thon my time though for live streaming my diamond painting is friday night instead and it's at 7 30 eastern standard time 7.30 p.m. until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I also will not be doing any Mad Libs next Sunday either. This Sunday I will, if the weather cooperates. But next weekend, it's all weekends, the Diamond painting a thon I was asked to participate. And because I want to watch as many as I can and support them, I'm not going to do my Mad Libs. Yep, a diamond painting streamathon. Yes. Oh, thank you. They're getting done tomorrow. I've had this for two weeks. So, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I have no clue. Yeah, I was contacted by. Hmm. Who contacted me? One of the diamond painters. I can't remember who it was. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, the crafty half, the craft, crafty half, yeah, crafty heifer on YouTube. She had emailed me. Yep, Marissa. So, um, hold on. I might, I should have, is this it? Nope, that's not it. Well, I thought I had the schedule. Hmm. I don't have it. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Sorry, Jody. Yep, not this weekend. Or, I mean, this weekend I will try. If I'm not on Sunday night, it's because I either lost power or lost internet. The same thing with tomorrow night. My, I may not be able to live stream diamond painting. We have nasty weather coming this weekend. And it's supposed to start tomorrow morning. I'm sorry you're not participating, Laura. I understand. So I do have that next weekend. And then I was contacted from Belinda from Faithful Girl 1978. There is a colorathon the weekend of 
February 7th. And it's a fab February. <laughs> and it's to celebrate fairies and promote artists. It's a 40 there's a will be a 48 discount, 48 hour discount on certain on artists. So when I have more information, I will let you Thank you, Darlene. So, yeah, and my time for that is a Saturday afternoon. So, yeah. So, that is going on. And she's... She, I know, right, Jody? Well, if I had good internet, it wouldn't be an issue. But I have satellite for internet. So, I mine goes by the weather. Even if it's just cloudy, really bad clouds. So that is what I know is going on for that. So if I happen to get a schedule, because I can't find it. I thought I had the schedule for the diamond paint in the thumb, but I don't see it. I have the February color, the February color thon, but I don't see that. Let me see. Yeah, it's not in there either. So I don't have that. But if when I get it, I'll let you know. Hi, Linda. Oh, thank you. Now it's furry. <laughs> she, I swear to God, she is like a dog. You know how when you get home and the dog comes running and greets you? Well, she does that too. Only she comes running to the door to this room to let me know she's ready to come in here. Repeat details again. Okay, so next weekend is a diamond painting a thon. My time slot for it is Friday the 24th from 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. So I will not be doing a live tea time. And because my live stream for the Diamond paint a thon is Friday, I will not be doing my live stream Saturday night. And in support of the Diamond paint a thon I'm not going to do my Mad Libs because I'm going to watch a lot of them. And then the weekend of February 7th, there is... The whole weekend is a February color a thon, and Belinda's in charge of that. If she has not contacted you, maybe you can contact her. I'm not sure. Um, she does have a schedule up for that so far, and what they're doing is promoting different artists, and there will be a 48 hour discount for the artists they I don't know if it's just for one picture or a whole coloring book or what I am not sure yet but when I have more information about that I will let you know so if I have information next weekend I will make a tea time video it just won't be live so this way I won't be you won't miss a tea time thing and information <laughs> So, yeah. And this weekend, I'm diamond painting all weekend, watching diamond painting live streams. And I should just switch it up because next weekend I should be cross stitching. So, I should switch it and make this weekend cross stitching. But I can cross stitch while I watch the live streams. And Miss Pearl is laying on my notebook that has all the coloring news in it. Do you think you could move? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm comfy. So, color and news. Stay right there. There is one, two, three, four. Hold on.
There's five year lawn color lawn. So it's not just monthly. These are year lawn ones. So the Bibliophile Colorist is doing a year lawn and it's called Hashtag A Whimsical 2020 and it's all the art of Hannah Lynn. Even Hannah Lynn um, pictures from Patreon or from the Color in Heaven magazines as long as it's Hannah Lynn. Lori Color in Hangout is doing a year lawn in Romantic Country, the first tale by Erie. And that's hashtag Romantic Country 1 LCH 2020. And Lori's also doing Hanging Out the Whips. So it's hashtag Hanging Out the Whips 2020. So color your whips. Grace's Adult Coloring and Chad and Corner is also doing a year lawn of hashtag Finish the Whips. And on Instagram, BMAZXO is doing an all year one of Hannah Lynn, and that's hashtag Hannah Lynn all year. So, actually, so more people are doing yearly ones, and that's probably what I should have done because it would have been way easier, but. I didn't, and that's okay. <laughs> and for January color lawns, Color Creatively is doing mandalas. The Bibliophile Colorist is co-hosting with Lisa's Coloring Corner and Color Creatively, and they are using gel pens, and it's hash hashtag Jelly January. And so the main focus on the pages is gel pens. You can use markers and pencils, but they want you to use mostly gel pens. Nick and Tina is doing hashtag glue book January. It's all paper crafting. Color Roo is doing Chinese New Year, so they're Asian pages. Crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee is doing a sassy craft lawn. So it's anything that has to do with sassy. It can be swearing. It can be naughty. Whatever. Rachel's Color and Exploration channel. She drew a picture. And if you email her, she will send it to you to color. Becky's Color Escape is doing Mermaiduary. So it's mermaids. And that's hashtag mermaiduary. You have snow starting tonight in Michigan. That's probably what's on its way here. It's supposed to start here at like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And let me go see. I have to go write something down. I have to go into Facebook. Hold on a second. Because I did not write it down. Here we go. Okay, so Facebook, and I can actually show it to you if I find it. Let me see if I can find it so I can show you which one it is. Or where she is in here. Well, where is it? Oh, there it is. Near the back. Hannah. Okay, so for Hannah Lim's whimsical adult coloring group, their color this week the picture is from Sweet and Simple, and they're doing Hannah. So every week they do a different picture from Hannah Lynn book. So I may do that one. They're also doing for the month color a girl with crazy hair slash mismatched clothes. My color and group, which is color with Shaleen and friends, we are the color lawn is coloring out of any of the color it coloring books, and I don't know if anybody's done any yet. Grace's color and corner is hashtag Thomas Slav January. 
Anxiety Art Adventures Facebook group is Hannah Lynn Color or Diamond Paint a Hannah Lynn. Color Mania is Color Any Fairy. Victoria's group is called... Oh, Victoria, you closed your group. Victoria closed her group. So never mind. Kim T. now has a coloring group. It's called Ivy's Coloring Garden. And this month they're doing angels. Um, She might, Lori. This is the one. Here, let me find it for you. This is the one I'm in. Well, I copied it. Why isn't it going to paste? Okay. This is the one that I'm in. And I think she has another one that has to do if you're in her Patreon group. But this is her regular. This is like, um, I don't even know who's the my, who's the owners. Hold on. Um, it's run by Sky of, um, Dream and Color, and Megan, Catherine, and Danny Baranel, but Sky, and Christy Varner, but Sky is the, um, admin. And on Instagram for January, so I already said the Bibliophile Colorist, it's hashtag Jelly January, and that's Jelly with a G, not a J. Color in by Little Pickle is hashtag Joanna's January, so color any Johanna Basford picture. Nurma Coloring is doing two pictures to choose from from Momo Girl, and that's hashtag Momo X Momo 2020. Ratna C. Ratna is Chimneys Magical. It's hashtag Chimneys Magical. B2A1N is hashtag Lizard Alon. And as I said, BMAZXO all year is the hashtag Hannah Lynn all year. Effie Colors is hashtag New Year Blues 2020. Color what makes you happy. Rika Color is hashtag in Inky Art School Coloring. So it's from that new Inky Art book. The one I'm in is not part of the Patreon group, Lori. I used to be part of the Patreon group, but I had to cancel most of my Patreon accounts. Kate's Color in Haven is doing hashtag Kate's Disney Color in Month because it's her birthday month. She likes to do Disney color a thons, but she's afraid of doing the Disney on her channel because of the new FCC and all that other stuff going on. So she's doing it on Instagram. Craniverse is doing hashtag your fave book in colors. And Glitter Coloring is doing hashtag January Coloring. So those are all the colorathons I know about. Now I need if anybody is doing anything for February, I'm up for taking any ideas and writing them down. I only have two of them so far for February, and I gotta write the other one down. But I really need to get back into my coloring. Because there's a lot of them I want to do.
Okay, May. Take care. <laughs> I got your back, girl. <laughs> Get some sleep. <laughs> You're welcome. So we were done with that news pretty quick. Well, I didn't show books either. I didn't talk about the books. I did, though. I forgot I do have this. What did I read? I read a book called Don't Read the Comments. And Calculated in Death. The Game Changer. What was the other one? Hmm. It's Don't Read the Comments is the one I was thinking of that I told Dylan to read. Because he would like it. And that has to do with the gaming community, like, um, yeah, is it Twitch? Kind of like on the order of that and YouTube. Had to do with the gaming community. That was really good. And that's an arc, so I don't know if it's out yet. And I, I, that's a blog tour I have. So, let's see. So, I know tonight is Mrs. Coffee. I think she'll be on. She's always on Friday nights. Um, tomorrow night, I or tomorrow afternoon, I usually watch Rachel Ray's live stream, and then tomorrow night I watch Jeremy's live stream. And like I said, I'm going to try really, really hard to diamond paint tomorrow night. I can't guarantee anything with this weather. They're saying when we get snow, we're going to have it really heavy, and it's going to be windy, and visibility is going to be bad. Um, so, yeah, if it's doing that tomorrow night... I can't guarantee anything. And the same with Sunday. Because they're saying this is going to last to like 1 a.m. Sunday. Or Monday, I mean. Let me look it up again. Oh my gosh. I need caffeine. Well, this has caffeine in it because it doesn't say decaffeinated. So, yeah. Right now it is. It's updating. Hi, Linda. I have two Lindas in here. Oh, it's even having troubles picking up stuff for the weather <laughs> yeah Aki weather doesn't want to work so it says that it is 13 degrees Fahrenheit out right now yeah nice okay I'm trying to find, oh, here we go. Why didn't my phone go off? I have a winter weather advisory. Hold on. Come on, I am hitting the X. Saturday, 8 a.m. until Saturday, 10 p.m. Oh, well, earlier. Oh, that's not my county. That's not my county. You're sending me the wrong info. That's because you have me in a different town. You need to change my town there. Let's go to that one. So 
Saturday 8 a.m. until Sunday 9 a.m. Two to four inches. Winds gusting as high as 50 miles per hour. Because of the winds, they're thinking there'll be power outages. See, we're not going to get a lot of snow. It's just going to be nasty because of the wind. And it's supposed to be heavy at times. We will see because earlier it was saying four to eight inches. So I don't think they know exactly what we are getting. We will see. I get my nails done at noon. If it gets nasty, I may not get them done. <laughs> oh, I like the snow. I don't like all that wind. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, yeah, I don't mind the snow. It's the wind that causes the issues. The snow causes the issue with my internet, but... I don't have to babysit again till Tuesday because Monday is a holiday and she works for a big um, company. They don't, they're not open on Monday. So I don't have to babysit till Tuesday. And tomorrow is my oldest grandson's birthday and he turns. Oh my gosh, he turned six. How the hell does that happen? Gosh, they grow up too fast. I told him today he needs to stop growing. He's so funny. He got up yesterday morning. He looks at me and he says, Mima, how many more days till my birthday? So I looked at him and I thought, well, let's trick him. I said, so when is your birthday? He goes the 18th. So he does know when his birthday is. I said, oh, you have two days. And he says, okay. So he came off the bus today with a crown, said happy birthday on it. The teacher, they celebrated his birthday in the classroom. <laughs> He's so funny. But, yeah. Six. And Mr. Blake will be four in May. I don't know how that's even possible either. As I started babysitting him, see, he was born in May, and I think I started babysitting him in August. So he's only a couple months old when I started watching him. <laughs> so, yeah. He was pretty good today. So... Who is doing what this weekend? Is anybody partying? Are you coloring? Are you diamond painting? You guys are being awful quiet. <laughs> Your granddaughter will be nine in March. Wow, Kim. I don't know why I'm yawning. Well, I was up as... I was up at 6 a.m. because so I had to babysit. That kept falling. I think I took two cat naps while I was babysitting. I kept Blake. I don't even know. Was Blake awake? No, Blake wasn't awake when I took my first cat nap. Hi, Melody. And the second one I took, I could hear him playing in his room. I never fall fully asleep because I'm, I'm listening to him. <laughs> Your son will be 15 in March. Yeah. My oldest son's going to be 30 this year. And I'm like, what? That's how old I am. That's not right. <laughs> Turn 16 tomorrow. Oh, cool. So he has the same birthday as my grandson. Yeah, my oldest is going to be 30. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't 
don't know. I don't know how that happens. I thought he just started kindergarten not too long ago. Your granddaughter has her first birthday tomorrow. Well, that's fun. We got lots of birthdays. Usually March and April are my busy months. Crystal turns 30 in November. Well, you're the same age as my son. He turns 30 in March. Your oldest will be 34 this year. Yeah, I don't know how that happens when we don't get any older. Nope. <laughs> yeah, my sister says she turns 50 this year and she's having a tough time with that. And I said, uh-huh. I didn't mind turning 40, but when I turned 50, I went into that year kicking and screaming all the way. <laughs> now it's like way past me. Your oldest daughter's birthday was yesterday. Got to lots of birthdays. Lots of birthdays. My dad's birthday was last Friday. You'll be 40 this year and Nick will be 41. See, you guys are babies too. <laughs> yeah, see, they pass us. A Firma, what is a firma? Sorry, Lori, I don't know what that is. A firma, a firma. Oh, I'm diamond painting, and I think I'm like when I do a whole s square on here, then I'm gonna switch to coloring a little bit, and then I'll go back to doing a square. But I'm watching YouTube or yeah, diamond painting live streams and videos all weekend. You're welcome. Well, your babies, according to me. See, Kim's still 29. My mother-in-law. Oh my God, bless her heart. I loved my mother-in-law. She had me at 25 for like five years. And I thought she was kidding around, and she, she wasn't. Well, I don't know what that is either, Joe Beth. <laughs> See, Melody turned 60 last December. So last month? Well, you're not that much older than me, Melody. Wait a minute, how old is my, oh, 58. <laughs> yeah, we're all babies to Laverne. <laughs> Laverne says we're all babies. Kim turns 54 in May. I turn 55 in April. Yep. I want to go back in my 20s. Yeah, I don't know what that is either, Lori. <laughs> I'm sorry. I yawn a lot during my live streams. I think because I'm nice and relaxed. Oh, okay. See, I don't do art journals, so that's why I don't know what that is. <laughs> really? You don't want to go back into your 20s? Oh, I would in a heartbeat.
Well, Melody, I had it so that I really wasn't coloring or diamond painting during the week. I was just reading and watching TV at night. And then because I have four hobbies, every weekend is a different hobby. Like the second weekend of every month is always the readathon in the one group I'm in on Facebook. So that weekend I read all weekend. The first weekend of the month, I color all weekend. So I'll go into color in live streams. I'll watch color in videos. The third weekend of every month, I plan on diamond painting. So I'll watch diamond painting videos and live streams. Then the fourth weekend of every month, I want to cross stitch. And I only watch, well, I watch two cross stitchers and Rachel Ray has some cross stitching videos up. So, um, yeah. <laughs> your kids would be little again in your see I want to redo a few things over with my kid well Justin's fine Dylan I would have liked to have changed a few things yeah in his teenage years I would have liked to have avoided it but then if he had turned out differently I might not have the grandsons I have so you know, there's pros and cons. <laughs> well, yeah, Kim, I know. You put in that many years of marriage and you have them trained right where you want them. Yeah, why start over with that? <laughs> yep, we train them where we want them to be. <laughs> I don't know. I think I would have made a lot of different changes with my health so I'm not where I am now. You know, if I could go back to that time and know what I know now. Well, Melody, I do that too. You too with your older son. Yeah, this is with my youngest one. You know, he was my challenge child and... I wish that I had done a couple things differently on who he hung out with. But, you know, he turned out good. He, he's a good kid now. So, you know, just a couple things that I wish I'd had changed. You know, and I always say... I wish I had traveled and I had moved down in the Carolinas when I was younger. But then I might not be with my husband and I might not have had my boy. So, you know, there's pros and cons to all of that. So I guess I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I just wish I had done a few things different. You know, a couple things differently. Especially with my health. I might not be where I am now. Who knows? You can't change it. We can't go back. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a lot of regrets. I just, you know, it's it's not seeing what he was doing at the time and how it would affect him now type of thing. So, but he's a good kid. You know, he has a good job. He is a, he's a workaholic. He has two jobs. He works weekends, too, part-time. So, both my boys have good work ethics. But so does Scott and I, so that's where they got it. Yeah, true, and you got to meet me doing this. I might not be doing this either. You never know how things would turn out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like you have someone saying, do you want to go back? Where do you want to go back to? And then you come back to now and go, now which life do you really want? Because mm, that's not going to happen. 
about to get in this discussion. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> With your weekends and your hobbies, Lori, you're not that disciplined? Oh, trust me, I haven't stuck to it. Like the first weekend of this month, I was supposed to color all weekend. Well, Catherine came. Catherine didn't want to color. Catherine wanted to diamond paint, so I diamond painted. So, I didn't get my color in weekend. And next weekend, I would be cross stitching, but I'm doing the diamond painting a thon. So, I should just switch this weekend with next weekend. But am I going to? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe I will Monday. I could do that Monday all day. I could cross stitch. But I think I'm going to, um, like when I do a section, when I do this section here, then I'm going to go back to my Hannah Lynn page and work on that for maybe an hour, and then I'll go back to that. But I'm also learning I need to get up and walk around every hour because sitting still, I can start my diamond painting and before I know it, it's four or five hours later. There's something about the diamond painting. You just keep going and you don't, you lose track of time. I was up one day till 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm, I looked at the clock and went, how the hell did that happen? I don't do that with coloring or cross stitching. It's just diamond painting. So... I try to fit in everything. I read Monday through Friday. I read during the day. Yeah, that's true too, Kim. But for some reason, and I didn't feel good most of December. So I just felt like diamond painting because there's no thinking to it. It's just there. <laughs> Laura, welcome to my world. I'm into diamond painting right now. I don't know. Maybe that will change. You know, and I look at my cross stitching again and going, I really want to do that. But then I'm looking at the diamond paint and going, I really want to work on that. So who knows? I I need to talk to Amber because she wants to diamond paint with me once in a while. So I'm thinking maybe Thursdays because I don't live stream on Thursdays. So I'm thinking maybe Thursday nights when she gets home from work, she could come here for an hour or two and we can diamond paint. I don't know. I don't know. Yesterday, like yesterday, she didn't get out of work till 4.30. Yeah, that's it. I'm glad Sean likes it, too. I figured he would, Laura. Yeah, diamond painting does. It relaxes me a lot more than anything else. Yep. I can, um, and even when I'm sick, when I don't feel good at all, I can diamond paint. But to color, I think because coloring, I need to figure out what pencils do I want to use, what color, how do I want the colors to work with each other where this tells you it's like my cross stitching I it tells you what colors and where to put it yeah I loved the live stream you did with Sean oh my gosh I was la or the video you did I mean I was laughing my ass off he was too funny and I got both my sons diamond painting as Justin did that live stream with me Saturday night and he loved it so he bought a pen I'll show you if it'll show up so he bought this pen diamond painting pen online let's see if you can see it so he got this online. He ordered that. It came in yesterday. It's a beautiful blue. That's his favorite color. And then they sent him these two cover minders as a thank you for his order. 
Aren't those cute? <laughs> yeah. So, yep. He had to go buy a diamond paint and pen. You'll be streaming Wednesday too with whips. Cool. What time are you streaming on Wednesdays, Nick and Tina? Because I stream on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. And that mine is, mine's going to be cross-stitching, though, from now on on Wednesdays. It won't be coloring. It'll be, so that'll be fine if you did it the same time I did. Because mine's going to be cross-stitching. I've been asked to fit in my cross-stitching. But I don't think I'll be doing my big cross-stitch pieces. I think I'll be doing small ones. Yeah, Lori, I don't have anything. Okay, so we'll be live streaming at the same time, Nick and Tina. But that's okay because your, yours is different than mine. Mine's cross-stitching. So we'll get different people. You might have to change it. I know, Laura. I mean, I can change mine to eight. If you, if you want the six o'clock, Nick and Tina, I can always change mine to eight. Yeah, see, I'm going to be cross-stitching, but I can switch my time. Well, excuse you, the cat just burped. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Caffeine, kick in. You know you can't be up here when I'm done because it is diamond painting. Okay, so you want, you're going to stay with the 6 o'clock and then I'll take 8 o'clock do that so I do 8 p.m. on Mondays Wednesdays Friday and Saturday 6 p.m. on Tuesdays and Sunday okay I can do that Yeah, I'm working on last year's whips, too. But I still am... I picked five coloring books that I told you guys about that I'm coloring in all year. So, but I'll get my whips done. So I can actually work on my whips. So you're doing... So, on Mondays, what are you doing on Mondays, Nick and Tina? So, is Mondays, like, coloring and Wednesdays going to be diamond painting? And Friday, oh, you don't, and Friday, how are you doing that, Nick and Tina? Are you having a schedule or just whatever? <laughs> just curious, I just want to know. Do I need to put this down in color and news? That's what we need. A new a new page to tell when everybody's streaming. <laughs> Bye, Joe Beth. Thank you for coming in. You have a great weekend.
You're making me yawn. I don't know why I'm going to blame you anyways. <laughs> She's just looking at me like, whatever. They probably could have called and made rescheduled the appointment for my nails for next Saturday because they haven't grown hardly at all. I don't have a big gap like I do sometimes. <clears throat> I'm st so Nick and Tina... Do you have a set schedule for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays? I know I saw them, Laura. They're so pretty. See, I can't wear that stuff. I tried, what's that other company that does home parties? And that stuff does not stay on my nails at all. Okay, Lori. Well, Wednesday night, and it depends on the weather, I am doing a tutorial on how I cross-stitch. So, everybody was buying um, easy kits from Amazon, real simple beginner kits, and we will be doing that. So, I have to go through all my stuff and find something that's easy. I love it, but I've been doing it for over 30 years. And I still have stuff to mail out from the Christmas giveaways. I just have not been to town. And I wonder if Scott remembered to take my car tonight to town. I need gas. <laughs> yeah, Miss Pearl's sitting right here. <laughs> well, they don't want to see that. Yes, it's counted cross-stitch. I don't like doing stamped. You can't sit on the laptop, you silly goose. So, Lori, how are you doing with your romantic country book? Are you getting pictures done? No, Daddy fed you. I know, I got to say goodbye. You got to go potty? That's what I thought. <laughs> well, everybody, I'm going to say goodbye because we talked everything and the dog has to go potty because Scott fed her before he left. So, again, I will try really hard to be on tomorrow night, diamond wine and diamond painting. I'm out of wine. I do have other stuff, though. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. Love you guys. You all take care. You have a great weekend. Stay safe if you're getting storms. Stay warm if it's cold. Love you. Bye.